And I'm Jonathan, and we are The, the East. East. This is our show. Our first show. The East Variety Hour. Our incredible guests today are Mark Wills and Janelle Arthur. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> but as the stars began to fall, I find myself trying to count them all and wish on one to get me there faster. We are here uh, because Mally, my oldest daughter, you said yeah. you're, Brooke, you said you're due in three weeks. Yeah. Uh, Mally came three weeks early, and uh, we are here in Disney to celebrate her 22nd birthday. Oh, my, oh my God. So, so I'm just saying <laughs> that, you know, there, there are good, there's a lot of good times ahead of you guys. And I love the fact, I, not if I'm telling too much, just. No, keep going. Please. You're great. But I, I love the fact that you, you don't know what it is. We don't. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're that's, excited that's for exactly that. What, that's exactly Man. what Kelly and I did for both both times. We didn't know either time uh, what either of our babies were gonna be, and we had two girls. So, uh, so, so I'm you're I'm outnumbered. Extremely. Excited. I was a kid when they all best died, and my mama cried. It was 1970 something in the world that I grew up in. Britain makes a bright trans am. Big hair and parachute pants. Looking back now, I can see me. Oh, man, did I look cheesy. I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. It was 1970 something. For your first song that I'm hoping you'll sing for us, will you maybe do something that you did on American Idol? Sure, I would love to. Yeah, will yeah. You tell us about it though, because I want to know the inspiration behind that arrangement, and yeah, just tell us about that whole experience. Well, you know, it's interesting because, um, of course, the Supremes sang it. Um, that's the well, that's the version that most people know. Is the version of this song that the Supremes did. And then eventually Kim Wilde did a version of this song in the eighties. And um, I had this, I had a karaoke machine and I was just jamming out to that Kim Wilde version of you keep me hanging on. I was about 14 years old at the time. And uh, I, I was, I just, for some reason, I guess a lot of it was my production background, just hearing different types of um, ways that things can be done and songs can, um, can, can be, you know, sung and everything and arranged. Uh, so I started playing around with this, but I wasn't playing guitar yet. So I asked my uncle, I said, listen, this is what I hear. I would, I, I went up to his house the next day. I was like, I really want to do a country ish version of you keep me hanging on by the Supremes. And then, you know, Kim Wilde. So, uh, he and I, we figured it out. And then honestly, like the first time that I ever played it on a big stage was on American Idol. So wow. it is a Motown song that we had to do. A Motown song and I was crazy because the schedule was just nuts so um, I couldn't really think straight sometimes so thank the Lord for mamas because my mom actually said well you're doing a Motown song I said I'm, I'm thinking about doing I heard it through the grapevine or whatever and she said Janelle you have to do your version of you keep me hanging on like and, and mama was right <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I was like, yeah, I totally, I totally forgot about that. And um, yeah, so got to do that on the show. And it was, it was a big moment for me. I, I was very, I will say I was like really nervous that night too. So, but it was fun. Why don't you let me get over you? 
the way you got over me. Oh my goodness, how lucky are we? I look the, like I've been through a, a wind tunnel. I've just been blown away by <laughs> our guest. Subscribe to Flamingo Street Productions, this channel here, that what he and said. share this link with other people during the show and then after it. See you real soon.